It's not about justice. I don't think it is. I think it's just about winning, you know? What it all boils down to is that I'm one of the Texas Seven, you know, and a police officer was a police officer was killed, and um, they tried to make an example out of us. The law of parties is a difficult issue. I mean, for most people who don't understand it, I, um, the law provides the state to prosecute and actually uh, find somebody guilty of other people's actions. One of the key legal issues in Joseph Garcia's case is whether the law of parties, is, as applied to him, is constitutional. And I think that we, we can expect to see that this will be an issue that gets raised uh, in the United States Supreme Court. Uh, the issue as I see it is uh, both whether it is constitutional in any circumstances uh, to execute an individual who did not have the intent to kill and did not kill. There's a way, sir, I take responsibility. Someone was trying to kill Aubrey Hawkins, weren't they? I take responsibility, sir. And you have the testimony of these people who did actually kill. They, they, they told you they did it. As they were coming out, the officer was already getting ready to pull up on us. We couldn't get out. So posing as security, I was going to get close to him and take him over. I drew my weapon at the at time, and uh, I shot through the windshield and shot the right shoulder. I yelled, don't move again. And that's when I fired the three fatal shots. I see it too. I, I, I see it too. I know that the, uh, this is vengeance. You know that th this is what they want. They you know, they want they want me to die just because I escaped. And that's what I did. I escaped. I understand how the officers feel. You know their brotherhood, their family, and I, I even wanted to be a police officer at one time. You know, um, I get it. I, I apologize to them. I apologize to the whole force. Um, I never meant this to happen, uh, and I'm sorry. Uh, you know, all I can do is ask for forgiveness, man. You know, um, I'm not scared to die, David. Um, this whole process in which they strap you down to the table. It's almost like a crucifixion in a sense, you know, because the way they strap you down. And um, I think it's wrong, but I've, I've had a tonsillectomy. I've had, you know, a, a hernia repair, and, I've, and each time I've gone under anesthesia. Um, I don't know if it's the same way. I don't know if that's they just give you an overdose and you go to sleep, you know, and that's it. You just don't wake up anymore. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you feel that. I don't know. I, I've, the thought process, you know, they're putting you to, they're paralyzing you. It stops your lungs from breathing, so you're suffocating, you know. Is it, it doesn't stop your mind from thinking, you know, feeling the pain. That's where your center is. That's where... He's, you know, you're feeling everything. Texas uses a one drug process. The drug they use is pentobarbital. There, there's a difference between being executed with fresh drugs, uh, drugs that uh, have been recently prepared uh, and have been properly prepared, properly stored, and properly transported. Uh, in those cases, the prisoner with pentobarbital uh, should be painlessly put to sleep uh, and die in a matter of, uh, of a couple of minutes. Uh, if the drugs are impure, are outdated, uh, then there's a possibility that the formula will break down somewhat. Uh, then there's a risk of significant pain uh, and burning. Uh, and we've noticed uh, this year, uh, 
Uh, five of the 11 prisoners executed in Texas so far this year have made statements uh, noting that they feel the burning. Uh, they feel um, they, they feel pain from the pentobarbital. That's not something that we had heard in the past. Whatever happens, David, you know, I know that God is with me. Uh, uh, I think about my loved ones. I think about how this is going to affect them. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I'm sad. Um, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of praying. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm sorrow. I mean, I got a lot of sorrow in my heart. And, uh, but I think the Lord has made me strong. He's made me strong for this moment. And if it does go through, you know, I just, I want to thank, I want to thank you, you know, for helping me, you know, getting the people to know me, you know, I'm not, I'm not that monster, you know, I, I'm sorry, you know, I ask for forgiveness, um, I ask for mercy. Nobody wants to die, David, you know, um, I do want to live. Yeah. I, I've actually, I've actually told my attorneys, you know, if uh, this does go down, um, I wanted to be cremated and uh, buried with my sister in New York. I mean, I think that would be, I think that would be a good ending for me, back together with my sister.